Hey everybody, Jay Nunn of San Antonio Metal Music Examiner here backstage at Backstage Live. Is there anything more ghoulish, scarier on Friday the 13th than Guar and Mr. Holder Sarungas? How you doing, my man? Good, I'm fine. How are you? How are y'all people doing out there? Uh, I'm doing outstanding. Uh, <laughs> Tell me first of all what it's like to be back in San Antonio. Do you like this city? Do you classify it as a bloody pit of horror? Oh yeah, this is definitely a bloody pit of horror city and a bloody pit of horror state. Texas being one of the most premier rock and roll locations in the entire fucking world. Everybody knows how much we love playing here. Um, and everyone knows how much we love having sex with the animals down here. So uh, we can't wait to get this gig over with so we can start doing that. And tonight is the first night of the second leg of the tour, and it's been great. It's been great to have you guys. I think the last time you were here a couple years ago was celebrating the 25th year. Now I don't know how far measures time or years on your planet, but because in a few human years, you guys are like 28 years old as a band. Does it feel like Guar has been around that long? Oh yeah, way longer actually. I mean, 28 years is like a drop in the bucket when you look at like 59 billion years ravaging our way across the galaxy with the scum dogs of the universe. I mean, really, we've only been alive here on Earth for the last 27 years, not 28 oh, quite yet. Mistake, sir. But, uh, you know, it does seem like this entire period that we're spending here on Earth is some kind of like, uh, I don't know, some kind of, uh, what is, what, purgatory. You know, like we're waiting for something else to happen here, something bigger, something better, something better. But it never happens. We just keep playing these fucking shitty clubs in your crappy little towns over and over again. I don't know why, but I love it. Every night, getting my dick sucked by a goddamn 20 foot long maggot. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a good, it's a, you know, I could end up working at McDonald's, you know. Wow, well, I know in my, in my other life I double as a sports writer, and rumor has it, or strong rumor has it, that you guys are Redskins fans, or you are. So, you know you are in Dallas Cowboys country, so does that present any awkwardness to you? Not at all. In fact, it makes me happy because it pisses people off. But, uh, you know, the only reason I'm drawn to the Redskins is because they have the most offensive name in the entire world of professional sports. I mean, I do think that they would tolerate a team called the Yellow Skins or the Black Skins for one fucking second. No, because the Native Americans have been basically had a genocidal war waged upon them, which they couldn't do anything but lose. Uh, you know, they get away with that. Of course, we gave them gambling casinos, so they should be pretty happy. Gotcha. Well, of course, we must not forget Mr. Corey Smoot, Flatus Maximus, we want to pay our respects here. And I have to give you and the rest of the band a lot of credit because you guys have just been through a very tough time. You've been still out there performing shows, giving your all to the fans. Give me a sense, Odorous, of what it's been like for you guys ever since that time. And, uh, you know, keeping his legacy going on. What has it been like for the band to just keep slaying out there and keep playing for the masses? Well, you know, it's really kind of shown people a side of war that we never wanted them to see. The one where we have feelings, and quite frankly, we're a little embarrassed by the entire thing. Now, we're hoping on this tour, we can give all the fans a chance to say farewell to Flatus. He had to leave. We're not sure why. It definitely was against our permission. But, um, you know, he's gone back to the stars, to uh, whatever fate awaits him out there, and uh, left us here on Earth with all you guys. Um, all I can say is that if it wasn't for all the amazing war fans out there, it really would have sucked a lot worse than it really did already. So, uh, and that's why we decided to keep doing this tour as a four piece. We wanted to finish the tour the way we started it, and uh, we wanted to give all the fans a chance to say goodbye to Flatus one time. And uh, so we'll be retir retiring his guitar at the end of the show tonight. And uh, yeah, it gives, uh, I mean, it really, it gives, Guar has always been a band that's been completely supported by our fans in a very close and like way, and uh, it, it really did give us the strength to get through this. You know, I know everyone thinks I'm superhuman and everything, but uh, yeah, it did really suck, and we really need every bit of strength of the fans we get. Well, like I said, you guys deserve all the credit. They're, they're chanting Guar's name right now. They're about to go on. They're about to go on stage. So we're gonna let these guys slay. Thank you very much, Mr. Odor Sarungus. Thank you very much. Pleasure, and we'll see you in the photo pit in a couple of minutes for Odorous. Jay Nod, a San Antonio Metal Music Examiner, signing off. Hell yeah!